One of the most frequently asked questions I get in this game is how do scents work and are they worth it? So today we're going to answer that question. Let's get down to it. Now, let me just start by saying that in my humble opinion, I think scents are largely misunderstood in this game. A lot of people seem to think that they just don't work and they're a complete waste of money. Well, I'm here to show you and talk to you about how they do actually work, and you can decide for yourself if it's something you want to invest your time and money into. Scent Eliminator. Scent Eliminator can be found in the store under equipment. $3,000 will get you 10 charges. The spray lasts for a total of 30 minutes. Now that's 30 minutes in game. One of the most important bits of information to note is that Scent Eliminator is not location based. When you spray it, it is on you. As you move around, that Scent Eliminator will continue to take effect for up to 30 minutes. Do keep in mind, it's an RNG for a chance to take effect. The first thing you need to understand about Scent Eliminator is it is not a guaranteed take, meaning that every time you use it, doesn't mean they're not gonna be able to smell you. It's just like in the real world, it's a mask. Are they gonna be fooled by it? You're kind of rolling the dice, RNG, if you will. So what you need to know is when you spray the Scent Eliminator, Really, it seems to be about a 40% chance that it's going to actually do its job. Now, I know that doesn't sound very reliable, but there has been many occasions where I've used it, and I often use it in tandem with an actual scent from an animal to bring those animals in, or more importantly, sometimes just to buy yourself that little bit extra time before they bolt. Scents. You will find all the scents in the store under lures. Head down to scents, uh, to scents, <laughs> and you're gonna find them all listed right here. 1500 bucks for a charge of 10 per buy, not too bad. Now please note, even though they have a high attraction strength, they are still reliant on the wind blowing in the direction of the animals. Now having a range of 200 meters is pretty good. That's about the range that the larger animals are going to smell you in the first place. It only lasts for 300 seconds, but can be a very powerful tool. Now, I have a herd of red deer down here, and I've got some red deer scent. Keep that crap out of your mouth. And so we're going to use just that. We're going to try, as I can see them moving in, to get them to stop and even move towards us. Now, remember, it's not a guaranteed thing, but let's see what we can do with this here. So I've already applied the scent eliminator. We've masked our scent. We can see it was working because the animals aren't bolting down there. I'm moving around making all kinds of noise and we're pretty close. Here come the red deer. Now, scent eliminator lasts for about 30 minutes in-game, in-game minutes. Now, as stated in the store, the scents will last for 300 seconds. That's five minutes. You generally don't need it much more than that, but it is location-based. I typically spray things two or three times. A lot of it depends on the reaction from the animals. Now we do have a stag down here. Now you can see the wind, it's, it's blowing right down to them. We're gonna wait and see, he should react. We're not gonna use the collar. I just wanna show you that it piques his interest. You can see we definitely have some interest from it. Now, you don't need to spray it as much as I am. I go a little overboard on it. But eventually, if they're in your wind, they're going to spook and they're going to run. So you don't have a whole lot of time. This will not replace your callers. But we could have killed this thing three times over already. We're kind of toying with them a little bit just to see how long we can keep them in. Because we know around the 150 to 200 mark, they're going to smell you. We're definitely inside that, as you can see. Now, I know some of you are screaming, Beer, shoot, kill the darn thing! Well, this is more for science than anything else. I really just want to show you that it does work. Now, as you can see, he's noticed us. He definitely caught a whiff there. You saw by the reactions. The animations are the telltale. And in comes the mythical. <laughs> well, this heated up a little bit. Now, I, I know this isn't going to be a diamond. We're going to smack him with a bigger gun here just for sport because I don't want to go after him. There's a hard shot for you. <laughs> we know we're reaching it with the 300. That's for sure. Ruining animals. My goodness. But again, 
It's for science. But Beard, how did you know it wasn't a diamond? Well, I've been farming this guy, trying to get him back a little bit bigger to turn him into a diamond, and as you can see, he's not close. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta have fun with it. Now I wanna keep this video short and sweet and to the point, so I'm gonna give you one more example with these red deer, and please again, my friends, go and try this for yourself. And we're gonna recap here in just a moment. I, I followed that herd that we spooked after we shot the mythical, they're just up ahead. You can see they're all moving away. I'm not using a collar, I'm simply using the spray. Now, I have been putting on my, my scent eliminator as we go. I feel it's very important to work these two in tandem. And you're gonna see here, as you've noticed, they're gonna come in. I mean, we're giving them the spray, the wind's blowing directly at them. They're inside that magical range where they sniff you. And we're just gonna slide up here and take a look. Now I'm not gonna shoot these guys because I don't think there's anything else big left here. And I'm kind of pruning these herds to make a diamond pop or try to beat that legacy rack before the true reds come out. But let's just crawl up this hill and take a good little look and we're gonna see them all coming on in as I'm sure they will. And they're already on their way back. Some might say we do have a need zone behind us and often they will return to the need zones. However, look at the wind. The bigger the animal, the more skittish they are, obviously. If you're gonna use these to mask your approach on animals, when you've got a big animal in sight, it's not gonna last for very long. This is a small guy. So he's gonna walk right up, and he's gonna get pretty close before he really starts to smell us uh, over top of the scent and the scent eliminator can only do so much. So again, my friends, do not use this as the tool of all tools. This is an aid. And one of the things I really like about it is I'm the guy when I go out, I try to maximize my carrying space. So load up your bags with whatever you need or desire for your hunt. Whether it's a rifle, a handgun, a bow, oh my, you decide what goes in your bag chances are you're gonna have some room to fill. Fill that up with your scent eliminators and fill it up with your scent lures. There's literally no point in leaving any bag space on the table. It's like leaving money on the table. Why would you do it? You wouldn't. Give yourself every single advantage. I hope this has been helpful, my friends. I hope we've touched based on everything. I hope I haven't missed out on anything. And I want to thank you for watching and for all of your support. You guys are absolutely amazing. Make sure if you haven't done so, my friends, hit that subscribe, tag the little bell beside it. Do it with two ads if you got it. Don't forget to come and join the discords. The link's in the description. We are streaming a lot these days. Twitch.tv forward slash Jaxie Beard. Come on over, my friends. It's an absolute party. Thank you once again, and we'll see you in the next one. Yes, sir.